Welcome to 852 Reboot Hong Kong. Today we have a very special guest for you. It's a media entrepreneur turned food critic turned restaurateur. He's put all of those things together and he's running uh, a bunch of restaurants here in Hong Kong, Nikusho, in Shenzhen, Seiku, uh, and is also using his media knowledge to promote fantastic food. His name is Anthony Ng, and let's start the interview now. So Anthony, tell me, how did you transition from media, particularly digital, mm -hmm. social, into being a restaurateur? Uh, it has been my uh, job to sort of uh, get to know and uh, explore uh, the different usage, usages and also uh, opportunities on the digital world. Probably the last job, job, job that I worked for somebody else uh, was in the movie company. Uh, it was the movie company with uh, limited trace of uh, Chinese movies and I was responsible for doing the digital business for them. So exploring uh, different uh, areas and getting to know the, the new wave of social media, which is back in uh, 2009. So, all those years ago. Yeah, all those years ago. <laughs> so uh, uh, I got my hand on uh, Weibo, which is uh, you know the, the up and coming uh, social media in China back then. Uh, and I, instead of just like browsing through it, I, I get to use it uh, and, and, and feel it and interact with people. And I chose to as, as a topic. Uh, I start writing about it every day, one picture, 140 words, uh, doing it every day or every other day. And after a while, I got uh, noticed and. And people start inviting me to write for columns and uh, doing TV shows and, uh, and consulting even. So and I, that's how I stepped my food uh, into the food world until uh, four years ago. I started the restaurant in Hong Kong called Nikusho and this is where I am now. So you flipped from being a, a critic or a reviewer of other people's food to creating your own food. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And tell me, what's it like to open a, a Japanese restaurant in Hong Kong? I mean, that's very brave, right? What, what made you want to do meat? Nikusha in, in, in Hong Kong. Yeah. I mean, uh, opening a Japanese restaurant in Hong Kong is brave uh, in a sense that because the competition is very, very severe. Uh, but uh, it is not actually a very, very brave thing to do, but I'd rather see it as an opportunity uh, for Niku. Uh, you see all these like, high end to low end sushi places in Hong Kong, all these like, ramen places, like, you know, every, every, like, but it's basically everywhere in Hong Kong, you have the ramen place, every Hong Kong isakaya, all these like formats of Japanese food. But uh, yakiniku in Hong Kong is actually, for high end especially, it's, it's never really a big thing back then uh, when I saw the opportunity. So, I mean, uh, passion, I mean, food is my passion, obviously, but uh, to have a business mind, you have to make it very, very clear headed that uh, there's opportunity in the market. Back in the old days, when I saw uh, a yakiniku restaurant in, in Hong Kong, this high end, Getting very popular, very popular. Uh, people lining up and things. Uh, I just asked myself, uh, is there a space to open like a yakiniku in Hong Kong, but targeting really premium quality of wagyu mm -hmm. and also serving seasonal ingredients instead of just like you know the the set A B C, you know the fixed menu kind of thing? Can I change uh, offering seasonality? Can I offer premium grade wagyu and make a stand in Hong Kong? So that's how the show is formed. And how I mean, you you know, coming from the social media background, mm -hmm. you've you're practicing what you preached before, right? You've mm -hmm. learned how to use mm -hmm. the channel. Mm -hmm. So tell us a bit about how you're growing, your promoting your, you know, what you do. I mean, food is great because it looks beautiful, especially mm -hmm. your food. Yeah. What are you? What channels are you using? What are you finding works in, in Hong Kong to get the word out? Hong Kong or even Asia, uh, talk about food. Uh, Instagram is the place to be. Uh, uh, this is a community where it's like a, really like a center point for all foodies and chefs uh, globally to exchange ideas and, 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 and the trends and, and what's cool and what's, what's fun to eat, uh, food porn, all these hashtags, you know, food, food porn, food Instagram, da 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 da. It's, it's really been around for quite some time for, for, uh, for Instagram. So uh, everybody uses Instagram for food. And uh, because it's also it's not an enclosed space, so it's not like Facebook that you have to be like friends and friends sharing, mm -hmm. but in Instagram it's an open space that you, you can exchange a lot of different information and ideas with uh, foreign, uh, you know, in South America or, or Europe or Hong Kong or Japan. Uh, so we have we do a lot of hashtags and a lot of like, you know, quality uh, Instagrammers uh, on the Instagram to, to sort of like spread out this information. And this is where we do as well. I mean, and you just shared, you, we had, you spoiled me earlier, you gave me some of your amazing Unagi, what's it called? Uh, so we serve two unagi. Uh, so the, the latest uh, Instagram famous creation is called the uh, Sanshoyaki, which is uh, it's like a shirayaki, which is like a plain grilled without any sauce. But then we top the sauce on top after the, the skin becomes crispy after grilling. 
Very crispy indeed. Very crispy. Very crispy. Very crispy. Mm. Crispy, no? Yeah. So, um, in terms of you know the environment we're in Hong Kong at the moment, mm. you know, restaurateurs uh, are suffering. F and B hospitality. How how are you adapting? You know, you're you're a smart guy. You adjust. How are you adapting to this kind of new world that we live in? So, uh, well, I mean, the same question I answered uh, uh, last month uh, with yeah. SCMP. Uh, it's a big article about how do we cope with the coronavirus time uh, with the restaurant uh, delivery and and, and and more. So obviously, uh, we we have never really been like creating food that is like just for. I mean, both for cameras and and, and palate. Yeah. But uh, we we picked out a few items that uh, uh, we think that the people will like, and it's also uh, very very uh, highly uh, uh, Instagrammable. Uh, we produced this item uh, by the end of January. Uh, we used to use those items to pick them up a lunch menu and also delivery menu, which is the, the unagi that you mentioned, and also uh, the uh, katsusando, which is the, the wagyu tenderloin uh, sandwich. But we give it another twist that you just had just now with uh, brioche uh, by Bakehouse. Brilliant, brilliant fun. Uh, and also uh, some other items like uh, unagi kabayaki, the traditional ones, uh, you know, the our curry, our curry of uh, mala sauce, it's a homemade mala sauce, like, you know, travels well and sells really well and loved by many chefs and uh, KOLs in town. So, so you are, and you were selling that via Instagram or your people are calling you up? How are you how are you getting the word out? How are you distributing? So basically we uh, some of the items we have been like receiving a lot of popularity uh, already before we created the, this new menu by the end of uh, January. Uh, but we open lunch service as well. So we open lunch service to cope with COVID-19. Yeah. And we also uh, enable delivery uh, via delivery. And also uh, we create uh, a special service for our regulars. So when oh, they're out, when, when they're out of range, uh, you know, let's say because you know, delivery is like 1.5 kilometer only, so it doesn't cover like you know anybody up, like in reasonable area anyway. So, but we, as an extra service for regulars, we deliver to them, uh, so they can call and they can pre-order, and then we will get the foot done and then make the Alala Move or GoGo Van service to to be just in so time. Like you're a private chef. Yeah. Let's uh, go on to the two plugs. So, what's your first? What's the first thing you would like to promote? First thing to like to promote, of obviously our Instagram page, uh, you know, which is, which is the uh, at Nikusho, N I K U S H O U. So uh, please follow that. Uh, lots of good food uh, being show that, and also uh, you pay attention to the stories about the comments uh, from our from our restaurant uh, uh, customers as well, because uh, usually they love to share stories. And your second promotion. Set promotion is try the uh, uh, our famous uh, crispy uh, unagi. Uh, it's sancho yaki, uh, which I think uh, if uh, Napoleon is generous enough, he will just post his face eating it. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, and thank you. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. This the crispiest unagi in Hong Kong at the moment. Uh, it's uh, sought after uh, by many chefs and foodies, and uh, Mr. Bix is gonna have the first taste of it. So maybe I would like to just take a bite. Yeah. If I can lift it, please. Yeah. Oh. Mm. This big though. Yeah.